Summarizing Mass Effect 2 is very easy. Take everything that made Mass Effect 1 great and improve upon it, then remove everything that made it bad. I could literally leave it at that, but you all want a full review, so that's what I'm going to give you. I must warn you though that there will be spoilers to a degree, but I'll try to keep them at a minimum. If you're playing this right after having finished Mass Effect 1, then you can import your character from the previous game. This gives the benefit of having your decisions in the storyline carry over, which will then of course affect events later in this game. If not, well, shame on you, but you will be able to go through a similar character creator that the first game had and select some of the key events that occurred. The game's prologue begins right after the events of Mass Effect 1, but then some bad stuff happens. And you skip ahead two years. One of the first things you will notice is that nearly all of the technical issues, such as frame rate drops and screen tearing, are gone. There are still instances of texture pop-up, but it happens very rarely, and a lot of the time the game adds camera focus effects to help cover it up. Almost everything in the game has been streamlined and smoothed out. The pace of combat has been increased and an ammo system has replaced Mass Effect 1's overheating system. That alone has made firefights not only faster, but since you have to worry about ammo you need to be more precise with your aiming. You can still pause time to issue orders, change weapons, or use abilities however. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Another change is that instead of having weapon mods, you simply have skills that augment your type of attacks. This changes between classes and characters. As a soldier, you have access to Disruptor, Incendiary, and Cryo Rounds, for example. Another large change in the game is that you no longer get experience points from killing enemies, but instead only earn it from certain actions and from completing missions and assignments. Furthermore, upon leveling there are less options for point investment. This may bother some, but in my opinion, it actually works better in that less is more sort of way. Thankfully, Bioware removed the god-awful Mako from Mass Effect 2. They replaced it with a planetary hide-and-seek scanning system, whereby you move a cursor over the planet until your scanner picks up mining points. It can get a bit boring after a while, but it's still far better than that crappy ass Mako driving. Launching probe. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Bioware has also made a slight change to how you explore the galaxy. You still have the galaxy map, but now you actually fly the Normandy 2 around and have to micromanage a fuel supply for relay jumps.
The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Kalisa had been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago, when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, you're news again. I just want to give your story its due. The Paragon and Renegade system has also seen an upgrade. There are still dialogue options available based on how many points in a respective side you have, but there are also times when actions can be performed by pulling on one of the triggers, left for Paragon, right for Renegade. It works pretty well and is a nice addition. I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Check vid. Did we get it? Nice. Everyone wants some of this. By and large, Mass Effect 2 is nearly perfect. If I had to make any complaint, it would only be in that I miss having the crew from the original game, specifically Rex. I can understand why Bioware chose to do this, however, and so even that doesn't piss me off all that much.